praying that you guys don't fall over. <laughs> You're currently on a box on my sink because I didn't feel like putting a backdrop up in the office for this video. So, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, you guys. We are doing another unboxing video of stuff I bought from Hush. I have a problem and I'm addicted to makeup and I can't stop buying it. And I haven't even done my full review of the last palettes I bought yet. So that should be coming. Also, I know it is November and I know I didn't do my second uh, I buy things from magazine, like I promised. It is coming, but <sighs> I don't know where my time went. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this week's video. I know that my face looks just so lovely right now. I'm a little sweaty. I just got done working out. Let's get into unboxing this stuff. And as you can see, I have actually already opened it because I couldn't help myself. I probably have held on to these things for about three weeks and I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't wait to actually unbox it with you guys, but I haven't used them yet, I will say that. I did swatch the eyeshadow palettes I'm going to show you, like I pre-swatched them before this, so uh, they looked a lot prettier than what I'm going to show you, but I haven't made a look out of them yet because I'm going to save those for future videos. So let's get started on this video. So, basically, what happened <laughs> was one day I went to check my Hush app, and I don't know if they were having, like, some kind of sale, like, launching off the, like, holiday season or something. Like, it was still in October, so, I mean, it would make more sense to do it in November. I don't know if that's what they were doing. That's just in my head what like makes sense on why they would do what they were doing but they were like selling bundles of things like eyeshadow palettes with all sorts of stuff and just like bundles and it was such good deals they don't have it anymore so I got lucky in getting them I also think my husband just got home so uh they're not available anymore they were available a couple weeks ago so I'm sorry that this video is going up super late but by the time I got my palettes they were sold out anyway, so not like it would have mattered if I did this video sooner or not. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get into the video. And also, the reason why I am with no makeup today is because I, on like, on Wish, I think I explained this in one of the, did I just say on Wish? I've never bought anything from Wish. On Hush. Uh, you get like free prizes if you spend over $35 and this was a free prize that I got one of these like collagen mask things and so I thought what better way to do this video than with no makeup and I'll have this mask on because that doesn't sound scary at all so <laughs> let me see what I'm supposed to do real quick I'll get this on and I'll show you what I got. Oh gosh, I'm supposed to leave this mask on for 15 to 20 minutes, so we're legit going to have this on the whole time throughout the video. This will be fun. And also, I'm supposed to clean my face before I put this on. I've never used a face mask before. Is that normal? Do you usually clean your face before? I don't know. Um, so, I'll clean my face. I have to move you guys though because you're on my sink, so... Okay, skin is clean. I put moisturizer on. So let's go ahead and put this mask on. I've never done one of these before, but Hush sells a lot of these for like super cheap. Like I think they're like a dollar each. Oh, it's weird. It feels... This is supposed to stay on my face until completely absorbed. This is like, it feels like a, words can't even explain. Okay. 
<laughs> this was a terrible idea. I look terrifying. Why didn't I do this on Halloween? Why did I not post this video on Halloween? Okay, so. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a good idea to do this and demonstrate it throughout the video. But now I'm scaring myself. <laughs> All right, so I wanna go ahead and get started with, I'm gonna try to like not move my mouth a whole lot. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Bad Habit Athena palette. This is, palette isn't new. I know that it's been around the YouTube sphere multiple times. And it's supposedly supposed to look like some kind of high-end palette. I don't know. I don't I don't have any high-end high stuff, so I can tell you. Here's what it looks like. It did look a lot prettier uh, when I got it. But like I said, I pre-swatched them. And I will say... And this is mainly like what I say in all of my videos about when I like review Hush stuff. A lot of these colors feel very, very soft and very, very creamy. They There were a couple of the matte shades though that you will see in the swatch video that were a little clunky, which is really sad. Or not clunky. Why did I say clunky? They just were kind of... Um, patchy that's the word but I do think that I can still come up with really good um looks with this I don't mind the fallout on the matte shades that kind of fell out a little more on the swatches and I do appreciate that it has a mirror in it I really do like that there's you guys <laughs> um so yeah, I'm excited to work with this one. I'll just go ahead and name off some of the, name off the colors that I do. All right, so the top row in the Athena palette, we have the color Fierce, the color Triumph. Next we have Valier, Val, Val, Valar, Valor something. Purity, which is a skin color, so it doesn't really show up on me. Truth and Heroic. The matte shades, you can tell, are a little bit patchy. On the second row, we have Gleam, Epic, Medusa, Justice, Lore, and Power. And again, some of the matte shades are a little patchy. The next row, we have Divine, Cunning, Wisdom, Prize, Daring, which is like a loose glitter, and I love it. And the last color, we have Clever, and then these are all of the swatches of the Athena palette. This mask is like really cold on my skin. It feels kind of good, actually. The Athena palette came in a bundle with the J-Cat, oh my gosh, <laughs> the J-Cat Luxe Pro Pearl Luminizer, and I believe you can use this as a highlight. I haven't really played around with it a whole lot yet, um, but it does kind of have like holes in the top. I opened it yesterday because I wanted to see, and then I decided I didn't want to swatch it, so, but you kind of dump it into the cap, and then I'm just going to get some on my finger and see what it does. I've never used like a luminizer before, but yeah, see like, ooh, that's a nice little shade actually. And if you can use this as a highlight, I think that this bottle, it's like 1.5 ounces, that'll get you a lot of highlights. So that's exciting. I think this is pretty. I think it'll also be pretty for like an everyday, why am I breathing so hard? I think it'll be pretty also for like an everyday, my like lip is falling down. <laughs> For an everyday look, if you wanted to just kind of put a highlight on the eye or even like the high point to highlight the brow bone, I think that this one would be really pretty. So I'm excited to try this out. And then it also came with this NYX liquid lip in the color Tokyo. 
And again, I'm not 100% sure why Hush was giving it away in like bundles. This bundle was also $24. I believe all of these bundles that I'm showing you were $24. So that's pretty good for all of the stuff you get. That's the swatch for Tokyo. It's a really nice, pretty, like light pink color. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. And then we also have the clean color along the lines liquid eyeliner. And that looks pretty cool. I have not opened this because I have so many liquid eyeliners that I'm using or testing out. So I haven't opened this one yet, but we're gonna open it today. And I'm gonna do a little swatch and show for you guys. And this does say it's a super fine brush and it's supposed to be waterproof, which right off the bat, this does not look like a super fine brush to me. Like <laughs> it's clumped up. If you want a super fine brush though, get the like, e.l.f. Um, ink pen. I really like that one and it's very precise. So I would suggest that, but let's go ahead and swatch this and see um, how good it is actually. Let me wipe off my luminizer first. All right, so I have a clean surface. Let's go ahead and swatch this and see what we're working with. It is pretty like opaque and I mean, it does kind of crack where like the cracks are in my hand, but I mean on your eye, I don't think it would be bad. It doesn't seem like it's bleeding anywhere and it is pretty opaque. For sharpness, I don't think it's like sharp. I do think you can get like a cat eye look out of it if that's what you do but I don't think that it's like as sharp as some of the other eyeliners that I've tried so there's that ooh watch this so it's kind of with my makeup wipe like balling off so, I mean, if it can come up with a makeup wipe, does is that waterproof? Is it? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't normally wear waterproof makeup, so I wouldn't know. Alright, so the next palette I want to talk about is Aphrodite. And this is another one that's been around on YouTube for a while. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize now because I know that I look over away from the camera like multiple times in this video uh i recorded this like the day after halloween and on halloween we watched a scary movie and then the whole entire day the next day my husband was scaring me and i was filming this at night when he was at work so i was just like waiting for him to like come into the front door and scare the crap out of me so i'm sorry that's what's going on. That's why I'm looking over there. That's why I sound a little, like, timid, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> Many people have reviewed this one already, and I think it's supposed to look like another, like, professional palette, whatever. This one is kind of the same as the other one, where the mattes kind of had a lot more fallout, but the shimmers are very buttery and creamy. And I am excited for this one, too, because... I think I'll be able to get a lot of use out of it and a lot of fun looks out of it. And I actually honestly might use this for wedding makeup because I'm doing makeup for a wedding soon, so that's fun. And I might use this for that. And I'm about ready to chop this lip thing off because <laughs> it just keeps getting my thing. So here are the swatches. In the first row of the Aphrodite palette, we have Sparks, Tees, Admire, Flirt, Lust, and this color was super patchy for me. Romance, again, another patchy one. Then in the second row, we have Adore, Crush, Passion, another kind of clunky patchy one. Blushing. Seduction, Jealousy, 
And then in the last row, we have Infatuation, Beauty, Euphoria, I believe is how you pronounce that, <laughs> Love, a skin color called Koi, and a patchy black one called Heartbreak. And with this bundle, <laughs> it's sliding everywhere. With this bundle, it came with a NYX liquid lip in the color of Biza. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that the other one was there and now it's all over my Fitbit. That's fine. Here's a Biza. I think it's really pretty. It's coming off a little more reddish in the camera, but it's kind of like a really pretty, like corally pinky red. And also in that kit, it came with another lip product. This is like an avocado lip care. It's a hydrant lip and I've used this once and it is very hydrating. So this is very nice. It comes off with just as like a clear gel. And then also we got like a tight line or like a waterline eyeliner. And I have used this once and it isn't like opaque as I would like it to be but it came with it, so it's fine. <laughs> and then also another thing that came in with that uh, bundle was another highlighter from JCat. And I was actually really, really sad when I saw this because one, if you can see, it's out of the like packaging and two, it's broken. I've never experienced that with hush before so this was completely new to me I'm gonna have to fix this <laughs> which is fine but here's what it swatches like what am I doing <laughs> you can't even see that I need to switch hands it's a really pretty like gold shimmer shade ah! hello thought we weren't scaring each other yeah we're not you jerk <laughs> okay so that's the highlight. It is really pretty and I will use it. If I'm being honest with you guys, I will use it. But I'll just have to fix it because that's unacceptable. <laughs> also, if you can see, I cut the lip thing off because it's driving me nuts. And the last palette I'm going to show you guys is, I don't know if this one's new. I haven't seen it. On Hush before so it might be like newer I'm not sure but it is also by bad it is also by bad habit which is who made the other two palettes that I showed you and it's called the Luna palette and I got this one mainly because I don't have any like this like the purples and stuff I don't have one like that so because you know that's logic and that's fine because I needed it that's why <laughs> So here are the shades for this palette. The first color in this palette is Crescent. Then we have Waxing. Then we have Obloon. Uh, Penumbra, I think that's how you say that. High Tide. Waning. And Aphelion. Next we have Eclipse. Meridian. Mare, and this one's super patchy too. <laughs> Half Moon, Basalt, Super Moon, and Dark Side. And then these are all the colors together, and I don't know why I didn't do this on the Aphrodite palette. I don't know. I'm sorry. I suck. <laughs> And then with this palette, it came with some eye primer by Bad Habit, which I really like the packaging that they used. Kind of like the really shiny silver and then just the matte black. I think it's really sleek and kind of like edgy-ish. Like gives good vibes off, if that makes sense. Um, I'm really excited to try this eyeshadow primer out because I think that it'll help stick like, um, like shimmery colors and like glitters and stuff really well. This is what it looks like. It does have like a tacky uh, feel to it. So I do think that 
this will help like shimmers and stuff. So I'm excited to try this out for sure. And then the other thing that the Luna palette came with, oh, also this is $6 originally, so that's pretty inexpensive. Um, the next thing that the Luna palette came with was a set of makeup brushes. And you get eight eyeshadow brushes in here. Cut out here. <laughs> and they're all like super nice. They feel really soft. They feel a lot softer than like a lot of the brushes that I have. And they seem very good quality, if that makes sense. I obviously haven't tried them out yet. I'll try them out when I try the palettes out. But you have a lot of options here. Like you have like a packer brush, I'd use this for like a blending brush. Um, this is to get like more into your crease a little bit, more a little more crease brushes, some like detailed brush. My camera keeps cutting out and I don't know why, but I'm going to make this short and sweet. So those were the brushes. I got cut off on saying all of them. I'm really excited to try them out, basically is what this is. <laughs> Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is another free gift that I got from them, and this is just from Clean Color. It's one of their lipsticks, and it's called Cafe, oh, just kidding, it's called Melon Crush, <laughs> and it's a really pretty color, and I'm excited to use it and test it out. Um, this mask says to, like, leave it on until it's all dried in, so unfortunately, it's not all dried in yet, so I will be continuing wearing this mask until who knows when tonight so i guess i'm doing my outro with the mask on um that was this unboxing of yeah more makeup i have a problem i need to stop <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video be sure and subscribe and hit the bell notification and if you want to know any other information it'll be down in the description box below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.